uh, we, we are quick at the county. We consulted with our county council. Uh, it is not our belief that gun stores are essential businesses uh, based on the governor's executive order, and so therefore they should not be open uh, in the county of San Diego. Thank you. So let me get this straight. Gun stores are not an essential business, but we dispensaries are. So the governor's stay at home order has forced many businesses to go ahead and shut down, but San Diego's cannabis dispensaries they're all open for business. That's because marijuana storefronts have been deemed essential as part of the healthcare industry. Though over the last two years, the state of California has collected a billion dollars in cannabis tax revenue. And here locally, uh, San Diego collected more than eight million dollars in cannabis taxes. Do you understand how fucking stupid this is? The National Institute of Health literally said that there are populations within the United States that are particularly vulnerable. These populations include individuals who smoke or vape marijuana or have a history of smoking or vaping marijuana. Right now, California has damn near shut its entire economy down by having the entire state shelter in place because they want to minimize exposure to those people who are vulnerable and rightly so. But at the same time, consider the very business that facilitates the very habit that makes these people vulnerable in the first place an essential business. All the while, they're not considering gun stores essential business, even though the governor of California literally said that they would have to shelter in place at least eight weeks. That's eight weeks of making no money in a state that is ranked number two for having the most people living check to check. What the hell do you think is going to happen when the people start getting hungry? People start getting desperate. Criminals start becoming opportunistic because the police are too busy dealing with the pandemic and the California government can barely handle that when in peacetime, much less the sheer chaos that will ensue when people haven't been paid in eight weeks. And at that time, when all hell breaks loose and y'all go running out of the city like you did last time, leaving the citizens on their own, the most essential thing at that time will be having a damn gun. But no, not according to Nathan Brooks Brothers Fletcher in San Diego County. They don't believe gun stores, literally the only place where you can buy a gun in California, is an essential business. Then again, this is the same Nathan Fletcher who, according to this person on Twitter, said this. Anyone who thinks people are buying guns in order to shoot at a virus is an idiot. They're buying guns because people can feel how close we are to outright chaos and they want to be able to protect themselves and their family because they know they won't be able to depend on you if or when it happens. Need I remind you of the LA riots where the cops literally left the area and there was no one there to protect the citizens from the rioting and the violence. Once bottles and rocks and sticks were, still, were, were being thrown at the officers, they then went into a retreat mode and got out of there. And when they, when they cleared that corner, what they left is, I say, well over 100 people very upset. <laughs> Neighborhoods erupted with anger after four white L.A. police officers were acquitted of assaulting motorists. People had to take up arms to protect not only themselves, but their property. He Lee spent last night and will spend tonight guarding his appliance store. A small battalion of employees and relatives will try to help. I only have one shotgun. That's all I have. What do they have? They have hundreds of crazy people, hundreds of crazy young people with lots of guns. After the destruction, many Koreans have lost all faith that the authorities can protect them. Well, we hope police can protect, but as you see, this uh, you know, shortage of manpower police. The government wasn't there then, so the people are not going to depend on the government now. Fool me once, shame on, shame on you. If fool me, we can't get fooled again. At this point, I don't want to ever hear anyone say, no one's trying to take away your Second Amendment rights, because that's literally what they're doing, and I mean literally. California has a 10 day waiting period before you can buy a gun. You still have to pay for it. You still have to get an instant background check, but you have to wait 10 days before you can actually get your gun. And guess what? Now that gun stores are no longer considered an essential business, the people who have literally already paid for their guns won't be able to get them. And keep in mind, the governor said again, they will be under a shelter in place for at least eight weeks. This is the very definition of taking away someone's Second Amendment rights. So welcome to San Diego County, where getting high is more important than protecting your life. F***ing idiots. Right now, there's a culture war against the Second Amendment, which is why I need your help spreading our message to counter their message. You can do this by leaving a comment, sharing this video, and click the bell and subscribe button. 
Let my voice be your voice and let them know you want to keep America tactical because the right to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed wasn't a suggestion. It was a directive. Also, if you're wondering where to get your I will not comply, I lost all of my guns in a boating accident, the AR-15 is protected by the Second Amendment, and your state-specific Keep America Tactical shirts, click the links in the description section of this video.